So let's go over and look at how we would set up and configure the LPR. But first I want to show you a setup scenario. So here I'm using a 2.8 to 12 millimeter very focal turret, 80 inches from the ground, and I'm 40 feet from my ideal capture point. Here I'm just going to show you how I've drawn it out. You can see I'm 40.3 feet. Here's looking back at the camera. You see it's mounted at 80 inches back on a pole back behind that. So now let's go set that up. So I'm going to go into cameras. I'm going to find that camera and click on it. I'm going to hit the gear icon to take me into the settings. And then now I'm in the menu where I can go through the basic settings and set up my configuration. So again, we have our intrusion and our enter area. Again, with intrusion, that's going to be more not for your specific exact type of event. I'm going to use enter area for this LPR vehicle capture. You'll notice it's turned on for intrusion, but if you look down here, the vehicle and non motor vehicle have been turned off. It's only on for pedestrian. When I select the inner area, you see here, I've got a selection that has been drawn. And again, it's on for vehicle and non-motor vehicle. And what I want to point out in here is I've drawn every bit of the area that I could possibly have a vehicle in. I would want it to trigger. And I've only not drawn it in areas where they would not. See the car coming towards me right now. I want to make sure that that's coming towards me. That doesn't trigger it coming down through this road, down through here, that doesn't trigger it, or any of the vehicles up here in this upper parking lot, if they were moving around, I would not want those to trigger for the vehicle event. So I've drawn everything in the area that possibly could have a vehicle in it I want to trigger. Now the next thing is again, enter area being a no delay. As soon as the criteria is met, it's going to immediately trigger. What I want to do in this case, the vehicle is moving away from the camera. We're a section of the country where they only have tags on the rear. So therefore I have to put the camera behind it to capture the back of the vehicle to get the tag. So we want to make sure that the vehicle goes past the camera. That being said, I need to set up a maximum size. Now what that's going to do right here, you see this vehicle right here, max size. What it's going to do is I'm going to click on the edit button here and you see, I've got this fairly large box drawn. And what this means is this is the largest a target can be. If it's any bigger than this in front of the camera, it's not going to meet that threshold. It's not, it's never going to capture if it doesn't get smaller than this box here. So as a vehicle first passes the camera, it's very large because it's right in front of the camera. So it's much larger than this box is. And once it gets on past, then it starts getting smaller and smaller until it gets smaller than this region. And that's when it tells it, hey, I've met the criteria. I'm within the drawn VCA zone. I want you to take a picture. I want you to capture it right then, capture that event. And that's what we're gonna use for AI. Now, if this scenario was the opposite and there was cars coming towards the camera, the tags are on the front, then we wouldn't use uh, maximum size as a triggering mechanism. We would then use minimum size. So you see, I would click on that. And I would have a minimum size as it's coming towards me that it needs to be larger than this before I then grab that event. I also use this in this scenario to make sure that I'm not getting any vehicles outside of there, be it the headlights shining at night, be anything that may try to put something around that vehicle. I'm also going and creating a large uh, enough minimum size to not uh, help create any of those false events as well as default it's a very very small box and sometimes that can be deceiving so a quick recap when you're capturing from behind you want to capture with enter area again that's going to be no delay as soon as all the conditions are met it's going to immediately then capture that event we're going to do that by using a maximum size as the vehicle passes by the camera, it's very large at first. And as it pulls away, the entire vehicle is in view along with the tag. That's when you want that maximum size to be drawn. And anything smaller than that is going to then capture. Again, as you can imagine, your larger vehicles will capture several feet forward, maybe five, eight, 10 feet past a very small car would be, but still are all gonna be within that range. 
And then a quick recap is going to be if it was coming the other direction, coming towards the camera, we would then use a minimum size, draw your zone, say once the vehicle triggers this zone and it is above this minimum size, it will then capture that event. Let's go over and look at some results. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna to go to search. Let's go ahead and get the specific site. Let's go ahead and get the specific camera. And let's do a search. And we need vehicle up top, forgot that one. All right, you can see here, if you look in these, um, all of them are captured within right about that same distance, right? They're all within, you know, so many feet right within the camera. You can even see multiple ones here. It's one in front of it. If you look at the one previously to it, you can see there it is. See the black one there? So it captured the black one and the vehicle behind it. So you can see are capturing all of them and it's capturing all the tags with that. And you will see the occasional here. It actually got both of them. You see where this one right here, it actually got both of the tags again. Again, because it met that criteria still within that zone in front of it. And it will capture both of those as well. And if you look through here, you can tell I don't miss them. I don't miss tags on this one. Uh, if it comes through it, it's got it. You can see here it even captures multiple at one time. Uh, so this setup works really well.